So in the last couple of videos, showing you how to bring in your own image as an image overlay and as a place mark. But there's another way I really, really like. And this is a perfect example of why you want to do this. Let's take a look. So here we're back to my house. And if you look down here, the bottom right hand corner of your screen, you have some data. I got the location, elevation, so on. But right here, the image date. This picture, this imagery that Google Earth has in this case at this location is from April 30th of 2018. And my house looks different since then. For instance, in March of 2019, we put solar panels on our house and I took a picture of that. It looks like this. And I want to bring this picture in to Google Earth, but I don't want to do it as an image overlay because this picture was taken from the side and I don't want to bring it in as a place mark because that just, I don't, I don't think that would look very good. Here's another option. We're gonna edit this place mark. And to edit anything, like we've already been taught, right click, properties. In this take, case, what I'm gonna do is come right here. You see this add local image button? Click on that. I'm gonna to navigate to where I have saved that picture. Here's my solar panel pick. I'm gonna double click on that and take a look at this. We're gonna talk more about this. This string of, seems to be gibberish, is actually HTML code. And we'll have another video about HTML code. Let's click OK and see what that did. Now, when I click on this hyperlink right here, for my house, it brings up that picture that I brought in to the description box and now shows it into what's called the balloon. But maybe that's too big. Let's go to right click properties again. In the HTML code, take a close look, image style equals and then max width and it says 500 pixels and then it points to where I saved the picture. I'm gonna change that 500. Maybe I'll change it to 200 because I want that balloon to be a little bit smaller. Now click OK, click on my hyperlink, and now the same picture comes up, but now the balloon is much smaller. I can make it bigger, I can make it 800. But in this case, I think that looks really good. If I wanted to show somebody, here's my house, here's how it looks like today, as opposed to what Google Earth has, this is a really good technique. So, pretty cool technique. We talk, we introduced HTML code. We'll talk about that in the future. But for now, map your world. Thanks for watching.